Hi, I want to make a short video. I am making several, well, I'm making five dining chairs to match the one that I made. And um, this was a design from Four Eyes Furniture and Chris Solomon and uh, his buddy Sean. At any rate, um, a lot of my woodworking that I'm doing lately, and including this one, uses the Domino. Um, Morrison and tenon tool, essentially. So uh, I need a real steady place to clamp and hold these as I'm dominoing them. them. But at any rate, um, I've seen on several videos that um, people using this Fest tool, it's the Vaxis. And uh, I gotta tell you, it's incredible. Um, this is being held on by a vacuum you couldn't pull that off. Well, I mean, I suppose you could if your life depended on it. Um, you can rotate it. And um, you can loosen this up and tilt it down this direction. I could have turned it toward me if I'd have wanted to do that. I guess I didn't, I didn't need to do that. And then, so there's the suction here being held just underneath this piece. And we can look at that. And then there's, there's a gasket on the bottom of this. So it's, it's adhering to this Husky tool cabinet. It's just about as solid as it could be, you know? It's almost like a sea mollusk or something, you know? It's just sucking on there and you cannot get it off, which is fantastic. Now, Festool cannot market or does not and cannot market their vacuum system in the United States because of a UL lack of compatibility or something. So you can buy this clamp, this vacuum clamp from Beaver Tool I think they're in the Midwest. Um, I have had incredible customer service from them. But at any rate, because I bought the Domino from them, they sell a lot of Festool equipment. They have these, and they're very hard to come by. You cannot find them in stores in Oregon anywhere, any woodworking store. Woodcrafters, Rockler, nobody has them. But I got them there on Beaver Tool, and they just look so cool online that I had to have one. But you can hear this little pump running, it's not loud. This is not the Fast Tool pump. This is also not, what does that thing cost? I don't know, it's hundreds and hundreds of dollars. It's maybe a thousand, I can't even remember how much it is. This is a diaphragm pump. I would not use an oil-based pump that you would use for um, Freon refrigerant, just you know, uh, pulling that out of systems and such. This diaphragm pump uses no oil whatsoever. Um, when it gets really old, you can replace a, a gasket in it easily by pulling the heads off here. Um, my only thing is I just need to mount it on something a little bit more secure. It's got rubber feet. It is not hot. It's barely warm. It's been running for, I don't know, 20 minutes. And uh, pulls the air in here. Um, the only uh, thing was figuring out these Festool foot fittings a little bit. This German fitting, I don't know what it is. It's not just a metric fitting. But it is so close to a 3 8 inch pipe fitting that uh, this was a quarter inch. Then I went to 3 8 here with a, uh, so there's a, there's a reducer here. And then threaded that in. And it you can get it in three threads and with little tape it's just snug as a bug. So, um, the this Festool clamp comes with a lot of plumbing, which is fantastic. It, you can shut this off here, but then it's, these quick releases are really cool. Um, anyway, trust me, it just, see, I shut it off and it fell off. Uh, the quick release is really well made. And then we can pull a vacuum again by opening the valve. All you do, and look at this, get this one. I mean, I needed this one. There's a big round one. There's also a kind of racetrack shaped one. Um, you cannot buy this head with this tool. You have to buy the other head. So, you know, it's just the way things go. Let's see if I've got it here. Um, no, it's in this other drawer. Not that one. Here it is. This is the one that came with it. And this will be great, I'm sure. This is a heavy duty. Everything about Festool, I gotta give it to them. It reminds me of stuff that was made in the 50s. It's heavy. It's very heavy, thick components. Stuff like your dad used to use.
But at any rate, uh, this is working fantastic. Solid as a rock, got these Festool uh, mortises cut in there. And so this guy is $159 and it's on Amazon and I'll put a link to it in the description. Isn't that what everybody says? There'll be a link to it in the description. But at any rate, um, this, uh, unless this conks out on me, it, it, it's giving me the impression that it could run for a billion hours. It's not even hardly warm. And uh, it has more than enough capacity for what this needs. As a matter of fact, you can run an extra vacuum system tool off of this. And the uh, when you buy this, I guess it's a sustainer pack. I can't remember. I paid $450 for this. So it's got a full another set of hoses and disconnects. You can at least run at least another vac system off of it. Uh, but at any rate, I wanted you to know that you do not have to go out and buy that. I don't know what you're going to buy because you can't buy the uh, pump in the United States. Oh, I know what it is. The Festool vacuum, I think, is a lot of money. Rockler has one that's $450. That's a fancy version of this, essentially. It's a diaphragm pump like this. A dry pump, di diaphragm pump. But this is $159 and it's on Amazon. So if you search Amazon, you'll find one that looks like this, just buy it. But I will put the link in the description. So anyway, I'm just happy as could be. I think this is one of the best investments in a tool. Uh, look at all these I've got to cut. I'm making five chairs. There's so many joints I'm gonna to have to make um, along the way. I already made one, it turned out just great, I think. Also made their uh, lounge chair, which I was really happy with. But at any rate, um, so that you know, you've got a system you can use here and you can buy. And what do you have invested? 450 and 159 and a couple cheap things. So best of luck to you.